Assuming you want to learn a digital skill but you don't know which one to start with, here is a quick tip that can help you choose the right skill to learn and eventually make money on the internet. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to fiverr.com, preferably on your computer. When you get to fiverr.com, you need to log into your account before you can have access to the information I'm going to share in this video. If you don't have an account with them, go ahead and register one. It should not take you more than five minutes to do so. And when you register an account with them, choose to the buying mode. So from the buying mode, you want to go ahead and start looking at the menu on the platform. So when you look at the menu on the platform, you want to pay attention into the menus that have a label new in front of it. When you see any menu that has a label new in front of it, go ahead and open each of the menu one after the other and start looking at the service that are available under those categories. So when you start looking at the service that are available under those categories, you want to take note of the service that have a very high margin. For example, you don't want to look at services that start from $5, $10. You want to start looking at services that probably start from $30, $40, $50 and above. So when you look at this, you want to see the sellers, what they are doing and which one is getting the most sales. So you don't want to go ahead and learn skills that will earn you just $5. And at the end of the day, you will not be able to make enough money on the internet. So you want to look at the services that has a very high rate and the sellers are doing very well in the category. So when you see any of this category, you can then pick up the name of the category and then conduct a little more research on Google to find out more about this particular service. And when you see that this service is a good fit for you, then you can go to sites like udemy.com and start learning more about this particular skill. Or you can even go to youtube.com and search for this skill and you might eventually see some free training that is available for you on YouTube. So this is how you can learn some high in demand digital skills without having to stress yourself. I hope you learned something in this video. If you have any question, feel free to ask and I will answer your question. Don't forget to follow me across social media platform. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.